Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. In this video, I will show you how to create a dynamic search bar to highlight data using conditional formatting. Here I have some dummy data set with product name in column B, sales rep in column C and geography in column D. Let me first show you what we aim to create here. So we have this search bar and the idea is to type something in search bar and while I am typing if that string is there in any of the cells those cells should get highlighted. So for example if I type I all the cells that have I in it get highlighted. For example, Mike, Arvind, India, China, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, all the cells that have I gets highlighted. As I continue typing and I press N, all the cells that have I N in it gets highlighted. When I go to D, I only have cells with India, Arvind and Indonesia getting highlighted. So this is a dynamic search bar where the cells gets highlighted as you type. Now, let me show you how I've created this. So I have the same data set here and I'll show you from scratch how I've done this. So the first step is to insert that search bar, create that search bar. Uh, you can do this by going to the developer tab. In the insert mode you have form, X, form controls and ActiveX controls. In ActiveX control you have the text box. So we will be using this text box to create this. I insert this text box here and after inserting I right click here and click properties. In properties I have alphabetic and categorized. Within alphabetic I have this option called linked cell. So I give a, a cell address here which is C2 which would be this cell and I close this. You can you can create uh, a fancy looking uh, box by uh, playing around with the formatting but as of now for this video tutorial I would stick with the basics. When you have done this go to design mode and click on this. As you click on the design mode you get out of the design mode here and you can type here. See what happens. As I type in this cell it gets reflected in C2 in real time. So you do not have to press enter or anything it just gets reflected in cell C2. For cosmetic purposes, you can again go to design mode and place this over C2. So you do not have two search bars, you just have one single bar visible. And again, go to design mode, click here so that you come out of it. Now the second step is to apply conditional formatting on these cells in such a way that it gets highlighted whenever it has the string which is written in the search bar. So for example, if I write PRO then all these cells should get highlighted because these cells have a PRO in it. So we can use conditional formatting but before I move on to it let me show you how the logic would work. So I copy this data and paste it here and I delete all the data. I will apply a formula which would return a true if this cell or these cells have the text string written in the search bar or a false if it does not. So the formula I use here is search and I have to find text which is in C2 so I type $C$2 comma within text which would be B5 comma 1 which is beginning of the text and it returns a 1 because PRO is there in product. If I type say Japan here it would return a value error because it does not match this cell. Let me extend this formula and use is number. So is number converts 1 to true and value error to false. So now I would have either true or false. Let me try this again. I write PRO and I get a true here. This simple formula would work but there is just one simple drawback. If I have nothing here it would still return a true because there is nothing and therefore it matches all the cells. So I would use an AND condition to check whether this cell is empty or not. So I would say $C$2 is not equal to blank and this condition. Now my formula is ready to work. So I drag it here and here and as soon as I type something here for example I type Japan 
all the cells that have Japan would return a true so we have true here we have a true here and here because these cells have Japan in it so I'll use the same formula in conditional formatting let me copy this formula I select all the cells go to home conditional formatting new rule in new rule I use use a formula to determine which cells to format here I paste this formula and also set the formatting as orange and that's it you have it ready as you type anything here it would get highlighted in these cells so in as I type I all the I got highlighted as I type India it gets highlighted and this is dynamic so it will happen while you are typing now suppose you want to highlight the entire row instead of a single cell so for example here you want to highlight this entire row or this entire row because there is a matching cell in this case you can do this by tweaking this formula a bit so let me show you this formula let me delete this and create this from scratch so again we start with the search formula we look for the text in C2 so $C$2 within this but in this case we highlight the entire row and we lock the rows comma one that is beginning of each text and I press enter let me show you what this returns so if you select the entire formula and press F9 you can see that there it returns three values and all three are value error as of now because none of these match the content in the search bar but if I change this to say India let's see what happens in this case it returns two value error and the third one is a one because the third cell is the one where there is a match so we need to identify all those cells where this formula would re return one value which is which is one so there could be two value error but one needs to be a matching criteria so in this case I would first convert these errors into false and one into true by using is number now have a look at the output of this formula when I press F9 this gives me false false and true false because this does not match false because this does not match and true because D5 matches India let me put another condition here then I use an or or would give me a true if any of these three values is true so this gives me a true because there is a matching criteria if I change this to US this becomes false now let me also figure in the fact that this may return true if this is empty so I would add another condition I would say and dollar C dollar two is not empty and this condition and I press control shift enter because this is an array formula now when I drag it down and to the right see how it works you can see that this in this case all the three cells are true because there is a matching criteria US again all the three cells are true because US matches now let me check again for Rachel and you can see that these are again all true because there is a match here in Rachel so we can use this formula in conditional formatting and this would work for us so I copy this formula I select all these cells go to home conditional formatting clear all rules that we applied earlier go to new rule select use a formula to determine which cells to format and paste the formula here in format I would again set orange as the format and I press OK and there you have it now whenever you type anything here it will highlight all the cells even if there is one matching cell so the entire row would get highlighted for example I type I N T I A 
or J O H N John. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. For more such tips and tricks on Excel, visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a nice day.